This project here in Biddeford is one of four projects happening across North Devon and Torridge as part of a wider culture, health and wellbeing case study. And we wanted to explore how the culture sector can work with healthcare partners and community partners to support people to improve their own well-being, to feel happier and feel more healthy. In, in this programme, I had three initial sessions where I wanted to encourage people to experiment, to sort of loosen up creatively. And in those sessions, we did a, a number of activities. Um, in our first session, we drew with ink, um, but instead of using pens or paintbrushes, uh, we used buds from a magnolia tree that had been blown off during a recent storm. Um, we, I had uh, acorn caps here and I was really pleased to see people really relax into it and some people were using the stems of acorn caps shortly thereafter. Uh, we also did some sun printing, cyanotypes. Uh, again, playing with what might be available to us. We used some fabric and and put those out in initially as experiments. I'm washing the uh, solution of the fabric to show the blueprint. We've been collecting different shape and coloured plant and then we've been um, bashing them <laughs> which is a technique that Catherine's just um, taught us. It was lovely being able to work with nature and um, the kind of exploring you know what yeah the actual searching for things is lovely and just reminded me of an easter egg hunt <laughs> it feels really good so yeah i've really enjoyed it bruised but not beaten battered and blown by the storm magnolia buds lie scattered on the sterile soil Delicate feathered heads dipped in ink to trace their story, making their mark despite their youth. In stark contrast among the leaf litter, biding their time with the skeletal filigree leaves, brittle veined, lined with age. My daughter was born too soon and too fragile to survive, yet she made her mark, left her scent on the wind of time. I am bruised by grief, but not beaten by it. I'm trying new paths, sowing new seeds, protected by the fertile earth as I seek to learn how to grow in wisdom despite the lions of time. Well, this afternoon we were at the, um, in the park and we collected um, leaves, greenery and any flowers we could find. Yeah. Um, found a few daffodils that were already broken off. One um, bluebell uh, which was also broken off so I, I had a collection of different colours and tried to coordinate them together with the leaves. A few years ago I lost my partner and um, 12 people in all one year and my, my art just went I just I just couldn't um, can do it. This wouldn't wouldn't happen. So yeah. So doing this is really uh, exciting and you know challenging. Doing something different. It's taking your mind off um, sad things. Nice to do something different. And um, it's good to experiment. I like to experiment. I'm just trying to sew some buttons onto this little bit of denim for the montage that we're doing. Uh, it's a bit difficult with my finger. Got the buttons. Trying to make them into a heart. So see how it goes.
creating, making, doing art of all sorts and the impact for me personally has been just immense really, just huge because I didn't think I could create something like that and to do it with friends has been lovely and to encourage others and to be encouraged is always lovely. It's just given me a lot of confidence to do more things and, and, and not just art but in lots of ways. But I think as a group we're going to stick together so that would be really nice to make something else together but also just sit individually but as a group suffer bad anxiety and depression. Um, I've been on a three-year wait list for, to have a psychiatrist. Um, and whilst waiting, I've been seeing different people, care coordinators, um, one of which said about this group, so I wouldn't have known unless she mentioned it. When I do art or anything creative, I don't think about anything else, just what I'm doing. So it's my therapy. I want to do more. I wish there was more groups, small groups like this. Just creating and seeing what we've achieved together. So it's got everybody's personality in one piece of art. Um, and meeting people, it's been really great. It's been great. It's been a, a joy and a privilege actually to work with this particular group over a number of weeks to come together and be creative together, make new friends and explore all kinds of ideas. First of all, individually, none of these people knew each other at the start. Um, but it's been wonderful to watch them come together as a group and create a sense of, of togetherness, which is very much what we were hoping to do.